right? This is this hey go go into it a little bit more like this. You know? Look, hit it up at this angle. You'll hear brothers, you'll hear, you'll hear many brothers say that. Okay? It says uh, to call near that is invite or invoke by in imploration, hortation, or consolation. Now that word hortation is the uh I believe it's like exhortation. The X is the prefix and the uh, suffix is exhortation. Now I'm gonna look at what uh, see what it means to gain more understanding on that word hortation as, as it loads up uh, but yeah man you know what I'm saying that's it's very important man you have to uh, observe and take key in the, in the in these times man perilous times man you know and one thing you have to understand you know and I speak a drug a, a, a general um, general public you know but as I say the shoot fits where it you know what I'm saying I ain't got to mention no names because you're not an enemy yet if you're an enemy, I will start mentioning your name. Okay? But we're supposed to, um, um, uh, you know, bring forth these things to the light, man. You know? And, and, and to a general uh, public, it's like when we come out to the highways and the byways, we're not pointing out individual people. We're speaking openly. Okay? And people, if, if they don't like what we have to hear, then that's when they, they fit that analogy. The shoe fit. And then the, how, however they wear it, they want to, uh, Walk with an attitude, they want to walk up, then they're going to get rebuked. If they want to walk comfortably in it, you know, and be at peace, then they're going to be at peace. The word, uh, it brought up the hortation, it brought up the word, uh, hort hortoratory. Hortoratory, tending or aiming to exhort. The, um, yeah, tending or aiming to exhort. So that's our job, is to, is to aim to exhort, man. All right, it says tending or aiming to exhort. We always have to aim to exhort one another daily. Okay, instruct, correct, rebuke, whatever, however it has to come. That's what it is, man. All right, All right. So that's the word hortation. Uh, goes back to the word exhort or exhortation. It almost seemed like it was that suffix. Of exhortation, but if I'm not mistaken, exhortation, shin, t i o n, is a, is a suffix. X is a prefix, so you might have that hort, hort. You know, I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't quote me. But you know, that's what we do, man. That's what we have to do. All right, I'm gonna read it one more time. Not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another. And so much the more as you see the day approaching. See? And that's our job, man. And as I, as I stated, we have to observe. We have to observe um, how we, we, we tend to these things, man. This is a Sirach 13 and 13. Observe and take good heed. For thou walkest in peril of thy overthrowing. When thou hearest these things, awake in thy sleep. So when you hear these re, uh, exhortations, these rebu rebukes, you know, because these videos are meant for a general public. Now, elders, they'll, 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 make, they'll do a lesson and rebuke an individual uh, person or camp, but it's, it's to be learned off of, man. You know, it's to be learned off of um, and not take it personal. But if, if, like we always say, if the shoe fits, wear it. Because then that's how we're going to know and we're going to start being able to differentiate between uh, the ones that are trying to buck up and that have to be worked or or need to be worked on, you know, trimming the fat off as far as like getting you right, shaping you up right into that perfect man, all right, having having you ready, presentable towards you. How about So that's our job, man. Okay, we're not just out here just for our own goddamn selves. It's also for for you and how you're gonna respond to it. Because if the Mosai starts jacking you up, how are you going to respond to that? There's people out here that they, they've cursed the Lord. They've cursed God because they were getting jacked up too much. You have to hold on to your integrity and take how it, take it how it is, man. But Job is the perfect example. You know? Job is the perfect example 
that he didn't um, buck up against Yahweh Yahushua. You know, Yahweh Yahweh Yahushua, they, 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 they uh, rebuked his ass. They told him, you know, at, towards the end of the book, hey man, gird up thy loins like a man, man. You know? But in all the things that Job spoke and felt, he didn't, he didn't sin against it. You know? It says, observe and take good heed, for thou walkest in peril of thy overthrowing. When thou hearest these things, awake in thy sleep. You see? So you have to awake out of your sleep, being uh, in, a, in a state of complacency, or, you know, just being, just being uh, full of obscurity, man. You know? Now, you go to the, uh, that word awake, you know, nobody likes to be um, woken up, stirred up, you know, that goes into um, what we, us brother, we used to always say, America has a, a very rude awakening coming to them, because all, they don't want to wake up, they want to stay asleep, but when all hell pops off, they're going to be, the fuck, they're going to be disturbed, you know, pissed off, what's going on, crying, welling, then it's going to be too late, you know? So I'm gonna look up that word awake here in the blue letter. Over here and um, I'll do Ephesians 5 and 14. I'll just read it. It says, uh, wherefore he said, Awake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead, and Yahweh Shemashiach shall give thee light. Right? So somebody that's asleep or comfortable in, in, in their own ways, complacent. They're gonna, they, uh, uh, what happens, they, they, they get injured, you know, or they don't want to be told what to do, or how to do it, you know, because you got people that are watching from the outside, and they're observing you, okay, whether it be a job here in the, in, in the body of Yahweh Shem El Shai, you're being observed to make sure you're doing things on point, on, you know, you're, you're, you're being thoroughly, uh, um, going into certain things, especially when a brother's already, uh, told you certain things. You know, so go. I'm gonna go into that word uh, awake. It says uh, through the idea of collecting one's faculties. So the root etymology it says probably akin to the base of G58 through the idea of collecting one's faculties. So the the go into the book of Sirach 17. It talks about have, having the seven operations of the mind, which are the faculties of the mind, which you're supposed to be using them all, not just part. Okay, that's where people, they, they become lethargic mentally, spiritually, they become lethargic because they don't want to go um, all the way deep. You know, they don't want to use their mind. They don't want to wake up out of sleep. They don't want to be activated for them. They want to be partial in their, in their walking in their life, but most sides not down with that. You have to be fully activated in the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay. It says to arouse, to cause to rise. So that's all it is to rise, uh, uh, to to uh, to arouse you, you know, to to, to get you um, taking heed unto the word, taking heed unto counsel, you know, being a little bit more thorough, okay, and and and, and waiting patiently for that experience to come, okay, because the script the scriptures say, man, a man knows not the way he ought to know. Man. There's many things. In they have to go about understanding certain things, man. okay? It's not just one experience, one thing. It could, it, it could, it could take several, uh, uh, several uh, incidences for you to get gain the full understanding of what that was about, not just that one time. Coming into the truth, there's a lot of things that you have to constantly be giving up, man. You have to constantly be caught uh, fighting against. It's not just one thing that you gave up and that's the end all be all you there's more things that are going to be in your life that you have to give up that's just the way it is to arouse cause to rise to arouse from sleep to awake to arouse from sleep of death to recall the dead to life see to, so somebody that's recalled especially if they don't want to wake up they're going to be pissed off out their damn mind man. cussing you out you know, but hey, man, we're just hey, I'm just looking out for you, right? Scriptures say, uh, look out for each other, man. You know the the, the souls. You know we're at, we're supposed to be as shepherds. You know, 
It was told to Peter, feed my, lovest thou me, feed my sheep, feed my lambs. A lamb ain't gonna reject it. Lambs, that lamb's gonna look towards their shepherd to help, to uh, protect them. You know? To give them what they need to keep, to stay protected. But then you got some guys that you can't tell them nothing. You know? Which is that, what, which is that thing that, um, uh, meaning that you hadn't put off that old man, man. So you, you know not the way you ought to know. You know? You can give up uh, physical things, but that doesn't mean that it, it's right up here, man. You know? It says, to cause to rise from, from a seat or bed, etc., which is uh, your comfort. Because when you're on your, your couch or your bed, what does that represent? Your, your comfort. Being complacent, you know? So it says to raise up, produce, cause to appear, you know? So we're causing you to appear, be put on the spotlight, you know? Not, not to put you out there, but it, it's meant for you to know, hey, this is what it is, okay? And take heed to it. To cause to appear, bring before the public, to raise up, stir up against one, right? To stir you up. Right, the scripture, Paul, did, did not Paul do that? Or Peter Slakia. <laughs> this is uh, 2 Peter's um, 1 and 12. Wherefore, I will not be negligent to put you always in remembrance of these things, though you know them, and be established in the present truth. Right? Though you know them, right? But putting you in remembrance because you can't be uh, you can't neglect it. I can't neglect it, right? Wherefore I will not be neglected to put you always in remembrance of these things, though you know them and be established in the present truth. Okay, because you can know it, but that doesn't mean that you really know what's going on, man. It's like me and the brother were talking. You know, going back to that movie, White Man Can't Jump, when he told uh, Billy, right, Wesley Snipes told Billy, because he was listening to, um, who was it, uh, 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 Lenny, uh, not Lenny Kravitz, uh, fucking, uh, uh, damn, his name slipped, uh, he was listening to, um, uh, Jimi Hendrix, Jimmy, and, uh, he, uh, Wesley Snipes tells him, um, basically he was telling him, you, you can't, you can't be uh, listening to him. It's like he was in, in, in Billy, uh, which is uh, damn, what's his name? Uh, Woody Harrelson, saying that I can listen to Jimmy. He was like, but you ain't hearing him, okay? Because it's not it's not going into fully resonated into you yet, because you haven't you haven't sat down patiently and and and, and listened. You know, you're not hearing it, okay? You're just running off for face value, okay? And that's what, you don't want to be found doing that kind of shit, man. All right? It says, uh, or matter of fact, let me go back to 2 Peter's 1 and 13. Yea, I think it me as long as I am in this tabernacle to stir you up by putting you in remembrance, knowing that surely I must put off this my tabernacle even as our Lord Yahweh Shammashiach has showed me. Moreover, I will endeavor that you may be able after my decease to have these things always in remembrance. And that's all it is, man. You know? But I know uh, Israel can have a short attention span, but also Israel could be uh, stiff name, man, hard-headed. You know? They want to reject the uh, uh, council. They want to reject it because they're their own man. Well, here in Great Millstone, you ain't your own man, man. Now, if you want to be your own man, you can follow all those other camps. Uh, Sakari, you know. Great Millstone, we're, we, we're or, in order. And, we, and, and, and certain brothers can rebuke certain brothers and other brothers can't do that. You know. Now, am I exempt from being told I'm going off? No. 
any brother could tell me I'm going off, but there's a way about doing it. Alright? There's a way about doing it. Especially if it's just the first or second time, scriptures say. The scriptures say, um, uh, you know, after two or three, uh, uh, with, with, with two or three witnesses, you know, every word, let me, let me bring it out. <clears throat> This is uh, Matthew 18 and 15. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee. She's so supposed to go to that brother and address it. Okay? Not make a rebuttal or, or, or uh, uh, a video that is um, half uh, 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 respect and half defensive or, uh, uh, you know, because you're offended. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. See? That's where um, it goes. You, ain't, you can listen, but you ain't hearing. You ain't hearing, Jimmy. That's what uh, Wesley Sykes was telling Woody Harrelson. You can con, you can say con all damn day, con, con, not con, con, con. But that doesn't mean that you're listening, you're, you're hearing what what, I'm, what a brother's trying to convey to you, or what the spirit is telling you. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. Him alone. If he shall hear thee. Thou hast gained thy brother. Because you don't want to be found offending one of the little ones, man. You don't know who, who what brothers is, 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 could be potentially the elect, man. That's why brothers treat each other with the utmost respect. All right? And me being in this thing as long as I have, I treat every single brother with much love when I meet, these, when, when I meet brothers. I'm just not siding with the, the, the brothers like Yashawamba or Ariyala or the higher ranking brothers. I speak to all of them, and on the cool, I rather I rather settle with the lower the lower brother, you know, because that because that's just the way in my spirit I am, man. Because that's how I, I, I I'm still a low brother. I'm still a lowly brother, you know. I ain't trying to take all that high ranking stuff into my mind, because that shit leads to pride, man. But when things are not going according to order, it, it has to be addressed. Okay? And brothers, this, this is an exhortation, man. Admonishment. Rebuke. Whatever you want to call it. It's all the same. It's all falls into it. There's different levels, different degrees. And if the shoe fits, wear it. It don't matter to me. It didn't matter to Yahweh Shah, else this book wouldn't have been written. What's in this book? What's written on back, uh, the front and back of it? Lamentations, woes, and mournings, man. It says, But if he will not hear thee, then take with thee one or two more, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses every word may be established. You see? Right? So going back to what I was saying, after two or three times, I'm, you're being told it has to be addressed. Okay? But even at that, there's a level of, on how it goes about on that too. Okay. It says, "Shit, man, I had, I had a, a lot of respect, man. A lot of respect as far because I'm not that type of dude that's trying to put anybody on blast. And one of the one of the guys in Israel that's not part of GMS, and he believes in a different doctrine. You know, regarding the Sabbath, regarding uh, um." Uh, what the Sabbath day falls on, what the foot, what the uh, the new moon is, you know. I, I for the longest time I didn't say his name. I consulted counsel, you know. The brother, uh, 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 the brother told me, 
you already know what you got to do. But I didn't do it. Why? Because I have a, a form of respect when it comes to that. Hoping that a brother, you know, that, that, is, that is speaking for the truth, that's fighting, that he's going to come to his senses, that he's going to repent. Acknowledge that he's, he was wrong. He, you know, he, he, because in order for you to repent, man, you have to have remorse. You have to have guilt upon you, man. That's the first step of being you performing that, man. It all coincides one, one, one with another, man. But he didn't do that. So what? I ended up mentioning his name. Whether he watched the video or not, I don't give a fuck. But Israel knows. Brothers that watch my videos, you know to stay away from this man. And a brother, um, uh, the elder Malcolm over there in Chicago, he had actually put up a video of him. And I commented on his video. And I ended up making videos regarding this because brothers should be a little bit more circumspect on who they're giving uh, reverence towards, man. Because not all Israel is of Israel. Brothers should be questioning brothers if they're if if they're in, if they if they really with uh, us if they fall into the doctrine that we preach, you know. And what did he do? He took down those videos, man, of, with, of him. And I understand, brothers, man. Brothers want they they they. I was the same way. I I love finding new brothers out there. They're doing the work, going hard. You know, one or two brothers doing the thing, man. But then. You have to speak with these brothers, you know? Don't just salute them. Saluting is an honor of peace towards one another. But you can't be at peace with all men, especially those, that, I mean, you can, but and you know what I'm saying, that with somebody that is contrary to the doctrine, you have no dealings with them, man. You, you're at peace in the sense that you ain't trying to, you ain't being carnal and shit like that. You ain't trying to be, uh, 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 you know, uh, 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 abrasive and shit like that. You, you're just going on your way but you ain't supposed to be out there doing that kind of shit being being at, 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 as one with them you know walking hand in hand with them no man so the elder put, took down that video which was beautiful because you know he, he, he heard what I had to say you know he believed in what I was saying was the truth and it was it is the truth and that dude took down videos, he took down comments of my videos just to cover his own ass so he wouldn't be put on blast. Because I was going to put his ass on blast on a certain day if he kept, what, kept up with his shit. But now brothers have to take my word for it, man. You know? And what that brother, for what, it, was, it was like a whole damn year, I didn't say nothing. I didn't make no 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 mention of his name, you know. But he kept on with the shit. Kept on with the shit, making comments. I mean, not on my page, but he started. He was making com references to, to GMS, and we, uh, we man, brothers here, we know we read through the spirit. We know when, you, when people are talking shit. All right, but when we deal with brothers, we don't call each other out on videos. Okay, we make the video, you watch it, you learn from it, and that's it, end of story. Matthew 18 and 16, but if he will not hear thee, then take with thee one or two more, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses every word may be established. And if he shall uh, neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church, right, which is the body, the congregation, Israel, which here... It, we're labeled as GMS Great Millstone. Okay? Which I'm I'm uh, affiliated with the GMS main camp, Dallas camp here in our in our state. Okay. So that's who I would bring it to. Okay. But I fix things, I fix problems right now my 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 way i'm not my way but by myself and if i had another brother here we would fix it together if i had three brothers here we would fix it together okay but if 
if you're not taking heed to the counsels, all right, admonishment, exhortation, rebukes, and you're bucking up, right, right, you're being proud, condescending, right, then it's going to be, it's going to have to go to another level, man, okay, like I sit back and I be patient, I, 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 I talk, I give counsel, but I sit back and I be patient and I watch on how one individual is supposed to maneuver. All right. It says, if he, if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as a heathen man and a publican. All right. So basically, you're going to be shunned, shunned out. Okay. Doesn't mean you, you, you stop doing the work. But Israel's gonna know of that conduct, okay? That you're a, a somebody that cannot be told what to do or take um, exhortation, admonishment, which is a light criticism or, or warning, okay? Because like I read there in the book of Sirach, admonishment, admonishment is if if you did do it, do it, do it not again. But if you didn't do it, then you're good. But take heed to the to the council. Verily I say unto you, whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. So, so Yahweh Bashem Yahweh has given us um, the authority to, to, um, to speak on these things, man. That's why it says, uh, let no man despise thy authority. Let no man despise thee. Okay? This is Sirach 22 and 8. Be not ashamed to inform the unwise and foolish and the extreme aged that contended with those that are young. Thus shalt thou be truly learned and approved of all men living. All right? Be not ashamed to inform the unwise and foolish. Because even though we can fall under that category at times. You know? Being simple. But we have to be corrected. Okay? Um, it says here in uh, this is first Timothy's chapter four. Uh, verse 11 these things command and teach let no man despise thy youth but be thou an example of the believers in word and conversation charity and spirit faith and purity see so let no man despise thy youth i'm still a babe in this thing too man you know compared to the elders of you know elder tahar gabar and them brothers we're i'm a babe man you know the, uh, what is it? The gray hairs of men is wisdom. So, the more wisdom, the most Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is giving a brother, that's what it is, you know? But there's still rank and order. That is to be revered and, and revered and respected, honored, feared. It says, verse 13, till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine goes that word exhortation again okay give attendance to reading exhortation and doctrine the teaching your teachers okay and then one thing i always notice in my life you know um the beautiful thing about brothers us brothers in, in gms is that we we know it's like okay like guys in the world whenever you put in the high position in a job, you got a lot of haters. You know, they they, they 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 feel like, nah, I don't want him. I don't want him being my boss. I don't want him being over me or anything like that. And they don't have no fear in that. I mean, the only fear that they sometimes would have is to, to get like, to receive um, like correction or disciplinary action by the supervisor. But a lot of the times they don't have that fear. They'll, they'll, they'll fucking make your job harder than what it should be. 
you know? But in, uh, in, here at GMS, we have that fear. And we know that we have to always treat the brother, brothers with the utmost respect, okay? We don't do that. And, and, and the most side was set up the basis of men just to show you that he can. And he's going to use that man to uh, be an example. You know? But like I said, it's like you got guys in the world that, oh, man, I can outdo that dude. You know? Oh, he, 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 uh, he, he trains in uh, jujitsu. I, mean, I can still beat his ass. Right? You get proud, arrogant, big headed. You know? That's why the Lord said, knowledge puffeth up. And he warns of these things. But here at GMS, we don't do that. Brothers that, that have, that hear and know, they know that we have to treat even to the least brother with that most up utmost respect, man. And we don't deviate from that. Some brothers are gentle, some brothers are, 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 are forward, you know. There's brothers that are more stern than me, you know. It says, neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. Spiritually laying on hands. How'd you get this knowledge, man? How'd you even wake up? By Yahweh Bashem Yahweh that worked through brothers, that works through brothers, that worked through me, that works through you, that works through the elders. But guess what? Those individual men that are in the flesh deserve and are going to get behind from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh even if they don't get it down here. But it's, it is practice within us, us brothers at Great Millstone. You know? That's just what it is. It says, neglect, neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy. Because it was prof prophecy that you were going to be, uh, you're going to hear this word. And your faith, faith cometh by hearing and the hearing of the word of the God. Because your faith that you had prior was into a false philosophy, a false doctrine. So it wasn't the true faith. You're, you're believing in white Jesus. You're calling on Jesus Christ. You know? You didn't know anything that what, what we taught. What we taught. What, what we teach here at Great Mill. So you didn't know none of that. You didn't know none of that. Okay? You didn't know how you ought to know. Of, let me bring that out, man. Let me bring that out. I keep quoting it. This is uh, 1 Corinthians... 8, I'll start at verse 1. Now as touching things offered unto idols, we know that we all have knowledge. Knowledge 